Strapi V4 comes with a new refreshed admin UI, and this is powered by the new Strapi design system. But before we get deeper into the design system, let's go into what those UI changes are. In our content manager, we have a new list view. We have a new content types builder powered by the new design system, same as our media library and a lot of our settings pages. So if we head over to the design system website, we get an introduction to what the design system is and why it's important. The idea behind the design system is to enable plugin developers to add consistency to a lot of the plugins that they create. And this new design system comes pre-built with a bunch of components accessible in a story blog that's available in a link in the description. And to find out more about the design system, check out the link in the description for how to use the design system, where you can use it, and a lot of the principles that guide how we are expecting developers to use it. So let's look at how we can use the design system in a React app. So let's get into that. In VS Code, let's use npx create next app and we'll name our app DS for design system strappy demo. Now our app is set up, we'll change directories into DS strappy demo. Next we'll do yarn add at strappy design system. And before we can start our next app, we need to install some peer dependencies. So we'll use yarn add and then we'll paste the following peer dependencies at strappy icons, react dom, React Router DOM and Stout Components because they are essential to making sure that the design system works in your next application or in whatever application you're putting this into. Right. Before we can actually start our application, I just want to open up VS Code. We can now make entries. Um, and if we want to edit our page, we go into index.js and this is the file that we'd have to edit. Before we can edit it, let's see what our page actually looks like. We'll start our server with yarn dev create. Now that our app is compiled, let's check out localhost 1337. You see your usual next application. So let's make some edits here. We'll go back into VS Code. In our index.js file, we will edit this. Welcome to next.js and the strappy ds. We'll save that and let's see the edits in our browser. Right, okay, so we know what file we're editing. And now the next thing we want to do is get design components from the Strapi design system and add them to the Next.js file. Before we can do that, let's look at our storybook. Something that a lot of people are familiar with is a button. We have this default button and we have the docs for the button. I'll zoom in just a bit so we can actually look at that. Before we use our component, we have to import it. And before we import our component, we have to use what they call a theming field, which is one of the technical components here. Um, where is that? There we go, theme. So we have different themes for our strappy design system, and this help us choose colors, set colors, set things like shadows and text sizes that we can then apply to the design system. So let's go back into our next app and first import a couple of things that will help us actually use the design system in the app. So at the top of our page, we'll import the theme provider from the Strapi design system slash theme provider and the light theme. And right above our main tag, we'll add theme provider with the theme light. Theme and close that. And then we'll go and end right after the main tag, close our theme provider tag. Now we should be able to import any component from the design system. So let's go back into our storybook. Let's get a button. So we we'll click button on components and we'll just get the base button. We'll copy this command and paste it in our next app. But before we do any of that, let's just get rid of this div tag. Perfect. So now at the top again, let's import our button and then 
right below this section and then let's add a button that says from Strapi and save. Let's check out our app in the browser and look at that. Welcome to Next.js and Strap EDS, edited by and then from Strapi. And then we can use and import any other components. So let's go to our storybook. Let's um, let's look for a status maybe. Yeah, status looks good. So we import these two things and go into our app. Let's add them. And then let's copy this code. And it looks like we have to get a couple more things. We need to change this to typography. And then we need to similarly import a stack. Okay, let's save and check out our app. Oh, we did not add this to right section of our app. There we go. And then we can add padding and a lot of the other things um, like that. So similarly, just the way you'd import these things into your Next.js app, you'd import them into your Strapi admin. If you're customizing the admin, either through injection zones or if you're building your own custom plugin. I hope you have fun with the design system and the component library that it comes with. If you need more resources, check out the link in the description. Thank you so much. Enjoy Strapi before.